Welcome back, everybody. This is going to be our Algebra 2 Function Foundations Lesson 5 1 to 1 Functions Home Review. And so uh, we're continuing on our lessons on functions, super important sections here. We're going over our homework, but also discuss some of the things that uh, are covered here. So, um, so the first thing about 1 to 1 functions is that um, we should know is that 1 to 1 function is definitely a function. And so in this question number one says, which the following graph illustrates a one-to-one -one relationship? Well, okay, well, a couple of things. Um, we are going to see in this case that uh, we, one-to-one -one relationship could be in this case as a function. Well, it would not be choice three. Three is not a function though, okay, because it doesn't pass the vertical line test. And the rest of them do now. So one of the things we want to talk about in this idea is that a one-to-one -one function, well, a one-to-one -one function, a function f is one-to-one -one if no two elements in domain of f correspond to the same element in the range of f. In other words, each x domain has exactly one image in the range. So now, there's a couple of things in this case that, you know, we talked about uh, to find a function instead of ordered pairs where no two ordered pairs have the same first member, meaning for each value of x, there's only one and only one value of y. Well, no x value will be repeated with a different y value. Uh, so now for a one-to-one -one function, the idea is that the same way is no two ordered pairs have the same second member, meaning no y value is repeated with a different x value. So the idea is that, <clears throat> You're not going to have two x values having the same y value in a one-to-one -one function. Just like for a function, you won't have an x value, which is different y values. So each x value has its own y value, and each y value has its own x value. There's no repeating everywhere, okay? So no repetition either way. So we go back to our question, and we see in this case that uh, number three is not a one-to-one, -one, is not a function, because in this case, the idea is that here we have an x value have more than one y value, all right? So it would not be one to one, all right? So fail, it has to be a function, it has to be a function. So it fails the vertical line test, okay? Now, so what about, is there a test to see whether or not a function is one to one? And the answer is yes, okay? The horizontal line test. If we draw a horizontal, horizontal line anywhere in the graph of any function and intersect more than one point, then the function is not one to one. If the horizontal line test intersects, or the horizontal line intersects a graph at most one point, anywhere in the graph, then the function is one to one. So the idea is that it must pass both the vertical line test and the horizontal line test. So here, the number three does not pass the vertical line test, and but the other three, the other three graphs do. But we draw a horizontal line anywhere, horizontal line, and we'll see in this case horizontal line and for for number four we get two points intersection and if we do for number two we're going to get more than two more than one actually plenty actually so so we have one two three four definitely not one to one however anywhere we have on graph number one Anywhere we draw a horizontal line, we're going to only hit the graph once. So the answer for the following, which is the one-to-one -one relationship, is going to be choice one. A one-to-one -one, one -one relationship is going to be a one-to-one -one function. Each value of x has its own value of y, and each value of y has only one value of x. Okay, so very important to know this. We'll see this again used for question two. Now, which one does not represent a one-to-one -one function? So which one does not pass the vertical and horizontal line test? Well, we'll see in this case, if we just draw a horizontal line here, we're seeing hidden more than two points, it is gonna be this, this part, this one. And so we forgot to, I forgot to label them, ladies and gentlemen. So this was number one, this was number two, number three, and this is number four. Number three is the answer for this one. It does not represent a one-to-one -one function. Okay, let's continue. Number three, which of the following graphs is each input not paired with a unique output? Well, when we look at the word of this, it's pretty much the same thing. Each input X is not paired with a unique output Y. That would be in this case. 
again, which one does not pass the vertical, horizontal, vertical and horizontal line test? It would have to be choice two, does not pass, meaning does not pass the horizontal line test, because we have three different values of x, which will have the same value of y. Therefore, it will not have a unique output, a unique output. So the first two questions were pretty much graphs, and you can figure this out using the, both the vertical and horizontal line test. A one-to-one -one relationship or one-to-one -one function is going to be graphically one that passes both the vertical and horizontal line test. In which the following formulas is the variable y a one-to-one -one function on the variable x? Hit try generating some values either in your head or tables uh, on your calculator. Well, okay. So for the first one, we can see in this case that from the shape of the, we can actually graph these as well, all right? And we'll see if we graph them. Let me actually pull up a pull up a my calculator. So let me just clear this from previous work, and we'll go to a y equals, and we're gonna clear this as well too. And we're gonna graph the graph each one. We can we can make tables too, but we can graph them as well. So we see in this case y equals x squared, and zoom six for. We'll see in this case, this graph here does not pass the horizontal line test. So we will say in this case, for number one, no, not one to one. Not one to one. Sorry, my handwriting's terrible. I should just really type this. Okay, or just, you know what, just type the word no. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, it's okay. Not one, two, one. Okay, so then, so we know the first one's work out. Now let's graph the second one. All right, so let's go to y equals. And to get this absolute value, we're going to clear this. And we go to number. So we go to math. Go over to num. And abs. Hit enter. And so now we can fill in this here and get the absolute value of x. But some of you might realize something. The shape of absolute value is more like a v, a v shape. So we will graph this and we'll see, yes. And again, this one fails the, the horizontal line test. So absolute value of x is not gonna work out either. So we'll say in this case, not one to one. Now, some of you might be saying in this case, well, okay, well, you know, how do I know? Well, for the first one, if x equals, let's say three, then y equals nine. Okay, if x equals negative 3, then y equals negative 9. So, oh, no, sorry, not negative 9, sorry, positive 9. <laughs> sorry, negative 3 to negative 3 is positive 9. And so we see in this case, it's not going to work out. We have two x values with the same y value. And for absolute value of x, if x equals 3, then y equals 3. But x equals negative 3, then y equals also equals 3, because absolute value of 3 will be 3 as well. So we see it's not 1 to 1. Okay. Now, for y equals 5, let's say, well, I was doing that one first. Oh, because he probably knows. You might realize in this case, let's clear this. And if we type in 5, if y equals 5, we graph this, that's the horizontal line. And a horizontal line will not pass the horizontal line test. It's a function, but not going to be a one-to-one -one function. So for number four, we'll say not one-to-one. -one. All right. And so how we show this now? Well, x equals three, then y equals five. x equals let's say negative three, y equals five. Any x value on y equals five will give you y equals five. Therefore, there's no unique, no unique uh, output in this case for inputs. So the one that will be is going to be, well, let's graph y equals two x. And so if you graph y equals two x,
this this uh, slanted line, if you will, and this uh, oblique line is going to be, in this case, passing both the vertical and horizontal line test. Each value of x will give you a give you a unique value of y. If we go to our tables, we'll see in this case that notice how let's see, let me change my table set, second table set to turn to auto. Okay, so bring this down. Enter. And so now if I do tables, you'll see in this case for these particular y values, we'll see here we got we have unique x uh, for each x value, we have unique y values. Okay. I really got to change table set to one. Oh, I see is a five from some other work we did before. Okay, so I'll show you that here. There you go, probably a lot easier. All right, so we see here uh, our, from our graphically number four, that our answer is going to be y is equal to two x, okay? All right, so we use in these examples, the idea of of a uh, of the both using the vertical and horizontal line test, specifically the horizontal line test to determine whether or not a function is one to one. Okay, uh, this is where we're going to end part one of this homework review. We're going to continue with part two, question number five on the one to one functions. I hope you found this helpful, ladies and gentlemen. If you did, please give this video a like. Uh, leave any questions or comments in the comment section below. And, uh, you know, if you have not subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications so that you know when new videos are dropping. I want to make sure I get these to you guys uh, during the summer break and, and if you're listening during summertime. But if you guys listen all, uh, hopefully it'll help you understand the idea of a one-to-one -one function. That each, in this function, each x is paired up with a unique value of y, and each y is unique, uh, paired up with each unique value of x, meaning that in all the sets, all the points of coordinates we have, none of them will have any x or y values repeating. Okay, so look for that, from that point of view, hopefully that's helpful. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for listening, and I look forward to seeing you or hearing you, or I hope you guys, hope seeing you guys, or you can see this video, uh, next video, part two, pretty soon. Take care of yourselves and be safe.